How to record cashback rewards in QuickBooks Online. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Thanks for watching this video today. Uh, check out the link in the pinned comment below. It takes you to our masterclass. Would love to have you sign up for that. It's free and it's going to show you the quickest and easiest way to learn QuickBooks. Okay, so recording cashback rewards in QuickBooks Online. Uh, you get them on a credit card. You know, a lot of people have these credit cards that get cashback rewards and it, it could be a percent of what you spend and it could be based on dining, whatever. It's based on things that you purchase and you need to know how to record this in QuickBooks. I'm gonna show you two ways to do that in this video, really quite simple, but you wanna make sure that you do it right so that these credits show up on your credit card reconciliation at the end of the month. Okay, so here we are on the home screen, and the first thing we're going to do is go up to New over here, and you're going to see this option here, Credit Card Credit. So basically, that just means that could be a payment, that could be, you know, some kind of return or some kind of credit uh, that you get, and you're going to do the same thing with a cashback reward. Okay, so the first way you want to do this, you don't need to choose a payee. You can, of course, if you want to. But this is not necessarily, I mean, you could choose MasterCard as the vendor, but you don't need to. The important thing is you want to choose the credit card. So in this case, we're going to choose MasterCard and we're going to choose the date. It says payment date, but essentially it is kind of a payment to the credit card since it's reducing what you owe on the card. So put in the date that you got this credit. It could be today's date. It could be the end of the month, whatever it is. Just choose the correct date. If you want, there should be a transaction number on the credit card credit. If not, you can leave this blank, but you can also put this in there. And down here, this is where it gets confusing for people is you have to choose a category, which is essentially just your account in QuickBooks. So first things first, let's put in the amount of the credit. Let's say that it's $5.23. Now, what a lot of people do for category, because these cashback rewards are not huge, but if you know for a fact that this relates to something very specific, like office supplies or gas or meals, then you can choose that account. Okay, so, uh, you know, if you go down here and it's for, let's find office expenses. If you know it's for that, then you can put it here. What this does is it reduces your office's office expense on your profit and loss statement. So because you're getting a credit, you're getting a reduction uh, on what you owe, it's essentially reducing an expense. And if you know it's for office expenses, then great, put it to office expense. Now, if you don't know what it's for, because oftentimes it could be a percent of your spending. So let's say it's a 1% of your spending for the month and you get this credit of $5.23, but your spending varied from office supplies to meals, to gas, to all sorts of things you don't need to break it out. These amounts typically that you're getting are very, very immaterial. And so you don't need to break them out between the various accounts. So what a lot of people will do is they will either just put it to what the predominant cashback was for. So if it was office expenses, if it was uh, meals, if it was gas, whatever it was, just put it to that expense. The amount's not gonna be big enough to really make a difference in your profit and loss. Okay. The third way that, uh, well, I guess kind of second way, this is, uh, this was really two ways in the first, but the second way, some people will go in and create an account in their chart of accounts called other income. All right. And they might name it cashback rewards and just show it as other income. Now you don't want to put it up in your revenue because your revenue for the business is what you're earning from selling things in the business. This should not be up there. And when I say up at the top of the P&L is where your revenue is and other income is down at the bottom after all of your expenses. And it's lumped in with some other items, other income and other expenses. So a lot of people will put it down as an other income item and name it. They'll create an account called Cashback Rewards and put it to that. That is definitely an option. That is okay to do as well. Again, we're not talking about huge amounts, so it's not going to make that big of a difference. So once you've chosen the account that you put into, you just save and close. 
And then the next month, when you go to reconcile your credit card statement, you're going to see that credit there. You can check it off and you'll be able to reconcile your credit card. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.